Welcome to Cozy How To, your place for a snugly warm learning experience. This is lesson number eight for the Equid Shopping Cart software. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to install your Equid Shopping Cart panel into your Facebook web page. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you're logged into your Equid Shopping Cart panel, which you can already see that I'm logged in by looking at the text in bold letters that says dashboard in the upper left hand corner of my screen. And if you're on the dashboard page, we're going to go ahead and gather the information that we need from this page. You're going to look for a section that says account summary within the dashboard page and in that section you should see your store ID which if you look here you'll see that my store ID is present and I'm going to go ahead and left click and drag over that hit control C to copy it. If you wanted to alternatively you could write that number down and then you can enter it later into your Facebook page to install the Equus shopping cart software. So once you have that number copied, the next thing that we want to do is go over to Facebook and we're going to click on the Facebook tab and make sure you log into Facebook if you are. The next process is to type in the search bar at the top and type the word Equit. And when you type the word Equit, you should see their logo and that's for their application. So go ahead and left click on that and it's going to take you to the page where you can access their software through Facebook. So you're going to look for the button that says go to app and you should see a blue button that says that. If you do, go ahead and left click on it and it's going to take you to the go to app page. And once that page loads, you're going to click on the blue button that says add store to your page. So go ahead and left click on that. And then we're going to go through the installation process. So you can see that on this page it says add page tab and then it says that you need to select the Facebook page to add Equit to. So we're going to click in this drop down menu and pick the page that we want to install the Equit Shopping Cart software on. In this case, I'm going to install it on the page that says Exar Test by left clicking that. And then I'm going to click the button that says Add Page Tab. And then it's going to take us back to our home page on Facebook. And we're going to look for the page that we installed it on. In this case, I installed it on Exar Test. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on that and it's going to take us to the XAR test page. So once you're on the XAR test page, what you want to do is scroll down a little bit and you want to look for the text that says XAR test. And if you see that text, then within that section, you want to look for the logo with the blue background and the word shop on top, like what you see here. If you don't see that, click on the drop down arrow to the right. And when you click on that, it's going to show you all the applications that you have installed for this particular page. So if you have multiple applications installed, click that drop down arrow and it's going to show you all the applications you have available. But if you see the option with the blue background, the word shop on top by default, then go ahead and left click on that and it's going to take you to the Equit Shopping Cart page. Okay, in this case we got to finish a few more steps before we can have it installed. In this case it says in order to finish your store setup, you should obtain your free Equit Store ID which we copied earlier and then it says please push the button and follow the instructions so go ahead and click on that button and once you click on that button it's going to take us to the final page to enter our store ID so we're going to click in this first text box here and we're going to paste our store ID or type it in manually if you wrote it down to paste it I'm going to hit control V and paste that number and then the next step is for your Facebook tab content and this allows you to set what page you want to show by default. In this case it's set to store home page so I'm going to leave it to that default. If you want to change it just click in a drop down menu and you have a few options here that you can choose. Okay and the last section is your Facebook store layout. You can choose how you want things to be laid out. In this case I'm going to leave that to default as well and then I'm going to click the save button. And once you click the save button go ahead and go to the upper left hand corner of your screen. Click on the Facebook logo that's going to take you back to the home page. And once back on the home page, we're going to go back to the XAR test page that I created. In this case, it may be different for you. You might not have named it XAR test because it's for your personal business. But in this case, I'm going to click on XAR test and it's going to take us back to that same page. And this time, when we click on the blue background with the shop text on top, it's going to take us to our store. So you can see that it displays the Equit Shopping Cart Store with the products that I created. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful. 
And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for future tutorials from Cozy How To, your place for a snuggly, warm learning experience.